turn. So in the first part of the heel turn, you create double stitches uh, going in towards the centre of your sock. Uh, if you aren't sure what double stitches are, then I've got a video showing how German short rows work, which uh, you can watch. So at this point, rather than continuing to knit in rounds, you work back and forwards in rows just on your heel stitches. So I'm going to create my first double stitch there and pull my way back to the start of the heel. So I've pulled across back to the start of that row. You can see that first double stitch there and then I am just going to create another double stitch at this end of the heel. Pull that yarn over like that and knit my way back across. So with the German short row heel, what you want to do is knit to the last double stitch you made, which is there. Uh, you can tell it from the two funny legs. Then you turn your work, slip that yarn around to create the double stitch and you work back. Then at the other end of the row, same thing. Knit up to that double stitch. There you go, there's the two legs. Turn it. Create your next double stitch. And you just keep going like that for as long as your pattern tells you to or until you think your heel is about the right width in the middle. Okay, so I am at the point where I want to start closing these double stitches to finish off my heel turn. Um, now the key thing to remember on the second part is that you always want to be creating a new double stitch at the start of each row. Um, may seem counterintuitive because you're meant to be getting rid of the things but it works and I'll show you why. So getting ready to go I make another double stitch there and then I knit across to first double stitch on the other side. So here we go. And to close that I just put my needle in behind the two legs as if I'm knitting them together as two stitches and do just that. Just knit them together. So you do that with the first double stitch and then you also do it with the next one. So you knit that together as well. Turn your work back and this is where things look like they're getting messy, but uh, it's meant to be like this. So remember how I said you always create a double stitch at the start of a row? You want to do it again with the double stitch you've just closed. So you slip that, pull the yarn over to create a new double stitch, and it will look horrendous. It will be a big old mess, but that is absolutely fine. It's meant to look like that even, so you knit yourself or pearl in this case even, back across to the first double stitch on the other side and again you get the two legs so you're purling these together so you go in behind those two legs, purl together, do the next one and then turn your work again. So once more, new double stitch, knit across and then you just do as you did before. You get back to that horrible mess of a double stitch you made, which magically on this side doesn't look so bad. Knit it together, Knit the next one together, turn, double stitch, keep on going. So you carry on like that until you've got just one double stitch left at this side 
and you are creating your last double stitch here. And then you can go back to knitting your sock in rounds. And you just close those last two double stitches as you come to them on your way round. 